What's up, everybody? Tyson Roush, Let's Talk Jets Radio. It's Friday night, and we got good news. Other than it's going to be sunny and hot all weekend. The New York Jets signed uh, tackle Morgan Moses to a one-year deal. According to reports, they tried to do a multi-year deal, but they settled on one. $3.6 million, with I think a max of like $5.3 or $5.5 million with playing incentives. Basically, you look at it is the money they saved on Jamison Crowder, they just spent on Morgan Moses, which... It's hard to argue with, you know, Joe Douglas and how he handles the cap, how he handles contracts. He's doing a lot of a lot of smart, wise moves. Obviously, you like to get these guys on longer term deals. A lot of these offensive linemen currently under one year contracts, so next year could be revamping again. But if you look at it, man, you have two mammoth tackles. Fan becomes a swing tackle, or it could be a, you know a an extra like a jumbo tight end. You could, and you have depth, you have versatility, you have backup for Makai Becton if he gets hurt now. Or if he just stays banged up, it's just a good move, man. And you know, one of the biggest priorities this entire offseason was upgrade the offensive line. Now you're looking at Becton, Vera Tucker, McGovern. You know, right, right card. They're gonna still do some things, I think. But I mean, this is solid. It's really, really exciting. You're gonna put Zach Wilson in the best spot to succeed, where you can protect him, you can run the football, which is a priority. The Jets couldn't run the ball last year. Now with these big tackles, I mean, the left side should be a force. The right side's gonna be very good. I mean, not very good. I'm sorry. I'm getting a little excited here, but it's they can run the football. You run the football, it opens up play action pass, opens up the short passing game. It's going to give Zach Wilson time to throw the ball. It's going to keep defenses on their toes, you know, off balance where they're not going to know what's coming. Or, or you could just do smash mouth, ground the pound, which the Jets had success back in the days with Sanchez. So excellent move by Joe Douglas. It's, it's exciting, man. You look at both sides of the football, they're improved. This is probably the most improved team they're going to have in the last few years in terms of just Young talent, good talent, quality talent, all at the right prices. So what's next? You know, I continue to think the Jets are going to sign a quarterback to back up um, Zach Wilson. I wouldn't be surprised if they explore the corner market a little bit more. They have plenty of cap space to sign their draft picks and still spend some money. And then you also look at once teams start cutting players during, you know, during training camp, there'll be moves made as well. But it's hard to not be ridiculously excited about what the direction this team is headed the expectation this year has got to be a very competitive team. They're going to be physical on both sides of the football. Hopefully they're well coached. They compete at a high level and they'll be competitive in every game. There's not going to be, you're not going to be giving up, you know, 86 yard touchdowns on the first play of the game. You're not going to be going three and out for the whole first half. So fun times. Looking forward to it. Uh, you know, if anything else cops up, we'll make sure to do videos. Prime time was in the latest Jets video, which is pretty wild. How the times are changing around here. So. Have a good weekend. If we don't talk to you over the weekend, Monday night we do our live stream. Tuesday night we have our radio show. Talk to you later.